How's it going, Whip from Wits and Media. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to motion track text to just about anything in DaVinci Resolve, like people, walls, objects, really anything else. Um, it's very simple, can easily boost your video and content, and yeah, easily doable. So without further ado, let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve and get started. All right, so the first step is to open DaVinci Resolve and create a new project and get your footage in here. And from there, let's take our footage and drag it into our timeline. From there, let's splice off the parts that I don't want. So let's start from, let's say right here and end it about here. And let's go somewhere in the middle of that clip and head to the Fusion page. From here, I'm gonna select my media in OneNote and click Shift Spacebar and start typing in track. And I'm gonna find the planner tracker and click add. And it's gonna automatically add it into our pipeline. From here, I'm gonna zoom in on me using the control scroll wheel and just draw just a shape around me. You don't want any of the background in there, just where you want, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for DaVinci knows what you're tracking. From here, I'm gonna go to my reference time and click set. So it knows exactly where I'm starting the tracking. And then from here, I'm gonna select my motion type. Right now it's on perspective and I'm gonna change translation. Um, there's a couple different options in here. Translation's the most basic, perspective's the most advanced. Do what you need, perspective isn't always the best. Sometimes it'll add motion where motion doesn't need to be added. So it can be weird sometimes, but I'm just gonna use translation. And I'm gonna track it to the um, start of my clip. So. I'm just gonna click this and we'll be back here in a second. All right, now that's tracked to the start, we're gonna click go and it's gonna go back to that reference time we set earlier of where we wanted to start. And then now let's track it to the end, clicking this button. From here, we can click create planar transform. And from here, we can actually delete the planar tracker since we don't need it anymore. Um, let's add a merge node in. And let's throw in our text. And Put this in with our merge node. And let's just write something like um, tracky, that's how you spell track, tracky text. And let's just change the font real quick. Maybe add just a little bit of styling. I'm gonna add a black um, outliner or stroke around it. There we go. And from here, take our planner transform and merge it in with our text and merge node and we can see that it is successfully um, tracking me. If you ever need to adjust the text, you can move it however you need, and you're good to go. From here, go back to the edit page, and boom, you're done. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, um, subscribe for more vid content in the future, and if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, leave them in the comment section down below, and thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.